We are Corey and Julie. We are a very busy couple with a busy family, but we enjoy seeking adventure any way we can. We hope you enjoy coming along with us. All right, so we are uh, heading to the Steens and Alvor Desert today. We uh, started our trip yesterday, um, but we got off to a late start because my parents, their uh, tire on their truck became separated, so they had to stop at Les Schwab. So we had to wait for them, so we got a, a late start, but it was a beautiful drive. We went ahead of them and uh, we uh, went to uh, Rock Creek Hatchery where I spent some time as a child and then we stopped and explored some potential campsites. Um, explored a little mountain area next to near the Crater Lake National Park and then we met up with them and we came to almost Silver Lake right Silver Lake and we found a campsite so now we are heading to Silver Lake to get gas and uh, starting our trip to the Steens the Alvor Desert so it's probably about four and a half hours or so we have Kirsten our daughter and her friend Gwen along on this trip. The boys have other obligations, so they weren't able to come along this trip. Um, and then of course my parents uh, are in their truck with their camper on the back, so. to French Glen, which I consider the gateway to the Steens Mountain. Um, you can actually enter the loop here or you can head south and enter from the southern entrance, which that's what we decided to do. All right, so we are on the Steens Mountain Loop. We just got on the loop, uh, the South Steens Loop, right? Yeah. yeah. So we just started on the loop and uh, we're heading to the South Steens campground area and uh, we may stay there. So we shall see. It's a little wet outside, uh, still some lightning. So we'll see, see the, how the evening goes. weather is not so bad now so yeah this is a pretty nice campground it's six dollars for us to camp the girls are in the tent and we were set up with our our awning and our new tent it took maybe five minutes so we're excited to go check out the area tomorrow we usually aren't a huge fan of organized campgrounds um, but this one was actually perfect for us it was really our style uh, the spots weren't too close together, and there wasn't a lot of action going on. Camping garlic bread. Yeah. 
The girls have lights, and here's Corey's fairy lights. <laughs> The girls were really good sports. They did all their own work with the tent um, and they did a very good job. Alright, so we are, uh, so it's third, third day, second morning. That makes sense. We just left uh, the South Steens campground and uh, we decided to go check out the Riddle Brothers Ranch. Uh, it's just a couple miles from the South Steens campground, so that's what we're doing this morning. The gate is open during the daytime, usually through the summer season, which is mid-June through October-ish. The brochure recommends a high-clearance four-wheel drive vehicle, but we saw regular cars on the road and it wouldn't be an issue unless, of course, it was wet conditions. There's a volunteer on site to give you history and information. Um, the Riddle brothers were grandsons of pioneers that came over by covered wagon um, and they ranched year round through the winters for over 50 years. Wow. According to the brochure, Walter, Frederick, and Benjamin Riddle were three bachelor brothers who secured home sites and raised livestock in and around the ranch. Migrating from Western Oregon, they settled here in the early 1900s and built their ranch by gaining control of water in the area. In the late 1950s, the Riddle brothers sold their ranch holdings to Rex Clemens, and then in 1986, the Bureau of Land Management purchased this property from Rex and has since managed the ranch for its historic values. Uh, it looks like it, yeah, it's built into the wall. An old, old fridge. They have lumberjacks, fruits. Isn't that crazy? They must like pancakes. <laughs> they must like pancakes. <laughs> This is exactly where I want to live. This location or this place? Yes. <laughs> oh, that one. Oh, wow. The Riddle Brothers Ranch was a really fun place to explore and I highly recommend stopping and checking it out yourself. By the way, we bought a new vehicle. We're the proud owners of a 2019 Toyota 4Runner Off-Road Premium. And yes, we still have the Jeep. We met back up with my parents and we continued on the loop.
Queen's Mount Loop is just beautiful. Such gorgeous scenery. The girls and Corey found snow, so they had to go explore. There are numerous overlooks to stop at and enjoy the beautiful scenery. You need to be careful if you have small children though, because there are definitely cliffs. Hiker Gorge is an old glacial valley, which I thought was absolutely stunning. At this point, I was thinking the day was actually turning into a gorgeous day. The sun was out, there was a few clouds, but it was still very nice and pleasant. We made it back to French Glen and officially completed the Steens Mountain Loop. We started heading towards the Alvor Desert and guess what? The weather started changing again and we got lots of thunder and lightning. But then, once again, the sun started peeking through the clouds. We made a four mile round trip detour to go check out Fields, Oregon before heading to the Alvord Desert. We arrived to the Fields Station in Fields, Oregon, which by the way has a population of nine, and we took a break before heading into the Alvor Desert. <laughs> 